Hey, let's talk about... Wait, hold on. I need to fix this. Why isn't it... Um, wait, oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Alright. Much better. <clears throat> oh, and before you think this is some kind of joke, it's gonna look like I'm not doing anything, but I am. Trust me. So just stick around until then. Pretty please? Thank you. Alright. And now, to the topic at hand. Black holes. Black holes are basically what remains after a large enough star dies. They're so dense that not even light can escape its gravitational pull. Pull. That's an important word. Black holes don't suck things into them. They pull. Or rather, things fall into them. I mean, they're called black holes for a reason. Holes don't suck. Unless you're in a boat. Anyways, when giant stars reach the last stages of their lives, they blow up, creating a supernova. This explosion scatters the star's mass into space and leaves them with an empty shell. Then what? Well, let's go back. Within the mass of the star, the particles that make up the mass ram into each other, creating a new molecule. In the case of our sun, the majority of it is made up of hydrogen, and when two of those particles collide, they create helium. This process is called nuclear fusion. But it's not that simple. Have you ever tried to take two positively charged magnets and put them together? It takes some force, right? Well, imagine that, but at a solar scale. To fuse just two molecules requires tremendous amounts of heat and pressure. Luckily, that's all generated by the sun's immense gravity. After those molecules fuse, they let out a little bit of energy. We then perceive that energy as heat and light. Okay, so we know what happens when the star has mass. It makes light. So after the supernova occurs, the sun loses its mass, therefore loses its light. It goes dark. Black. Hence the black and black holes. In younger stars, nuclear fusion creates energy at a constant outward pressure that balances its own inward pull of gravity. And since the star just lost all of its mass from the supernova, it begins to collapse in upon itself. It's like if you and a friend of yours were having a tug of war at the top of an endless set of stairs. They're at the top, and you're a couple of steps down. Each of you is pulling and pulling, and suddenly, they let go. You're still pulling, and you start to fall down those stairs, falling faster and faster each second. You try to grab something to help you stop, but since you're going so fast, you just pull it in with you. You fall and fall and fall. By then, it's too late. You've entered the event horizon, a point of no return. Maybe black holes aren't the destructive enigmas we make them out to be. In reality, they might just be dying stars with desperate pleas for salvation, asking for help to anyone who passes by. But anyone who treads too close will get caught in by the disparity and fall into that endless cycle along with the star. And before you know it, it's over.